Hi everyone, and thanks for being here. So finally MSI has released the iOS update for the Z790A's motherboards and they have released three updates, not only one, which two of them are really important and you should install it as soon as you can. We have the one released on 13 of August, which is the one with the 0125 microcode update and most importantly have the CVE security issue fix. So I suggest you guys to download and install this BIOS immediately if you have one of these motherboards. And the other one, of course, is the microcode 0129 update which uh, should apparently fix the fame instability issues with the 13 and 14 gen Intel CPUs. So let's download and install this BIOS. You can download and install the latest one and you are good to go. You're going to fix also the security issue. Then don't forget to download and install also the MA firmware otherwise you're going to have issues with your devices. So before installing the BIOS let's go through some testing, some temps and some performances so we can compare it and see how are the performances and how is the power delivery voltage and those things. I am pretty sure that also here as happens with a B7060 this is not a real fix it's let's pretend it's fixed but anyway let's go and install and test everything. Alright guys, here we have some scores on 3D Mark Bench and here we have also some results regarding the voltage, the temps and also the power which is of course limited at 288 watt and here we have some voltages which again are crazy in my opinion but okay this is the version previous to the 0.129 and after installing the new BIOS we will see how these values are going to change and so let's see also some results on Cinebench and OCCT. Okay guys, here we have 30 minutes of OCCT stress test and as we can see here we have all the temps, all the voltages and also the package power and of course the limit of 298 watts and also the, the core frequencies and so on. So let's check also Cinebench. Okay here we got Cinebench 24 single core score with 10 minutes test throttling. So let's check also the scores of the multi-core. Alright guys here we are on Cinebench 24. We have 10 minutes throttling test and as we can see here we have some scores and here we have some values about the voltages as usual and the power and also the temps. So let's head to the BIOS and in install the new BIOS the 0129 and let's see how it's going to be the results with installing the latest BIOS. Alright guys here we are into the BIOS this is the previous version of the BIOS let's go quickly through some settings so as we can see I have set the CPU cooler turning to 288 watts and other stuff that we are going to change after we are installing the new BIOS update is only the memory settings nothing else everything else will stay default with all the Intel settings defaults as would be installed with the new BIOS so in that way we can check exactly what these default settings can provide in terms of voltage, temps, power drawing and so on. So let's go on and install the new BIOS. Okay guys here we have the latest BIOS installed and let's go quickly through some OC settings. So here we will select Intel default settings with 253 watt of power delivery. We have also MSI performance settings which is I believe the same. I'm probably changing some settings but we will leave the Intel default settings nothing to touch here the only thing we we'll change as usual is the memory frequencies because of course we want the maximum from our memories and from that we will start and doing some tests to see how we are going to be the performances after installing this new BIOS. Okay guys here we have some results with the 3D Mark after applying the new BIOS as we can see here the CPU score is slightly less than the CPU score before we applied the new BIOS so you will get somehow less performances something that you wouldn't notice at all in my opinion. So here we have also also some readings about the voltage and about the temps and also about the power limits. Here we get our readings and let's head to OCCT and do a stress test of 30 minutes as we have done previously to see also what we are getting over there. Okay guys here we have 30 minutes of stress test in OCCT. As we can see here the temps are pretty low if we compare it with the uh, OCCT test uh, done with the oldest BIOS version and the voltages are more or less the same and also the frequencies are more or less the same. So let's check also in Cinebench what are the scores and what are the temps and also the voltages. Okay here we got our single core in Cinebench 24 usual 10 minutes test throttling and the scores are slightly less than the previous 
version of the BIOS, which is okay, two points. But one thing that I'm noticing here is the crazy high values of the voltage. We have 1.5 volts almost, which is unbelievable. It's out of this world and with the default settings and with these voltages, you are going to really lose your CPU very fast. We have also some temps which are low and that is a good thing always. And we have also some power drains which are uh, near to the limit of the power limit. So let's go and check some multi-core results all right here we have 10 minutes test throttling on cinebench 24 multi-core and as we can see the points we are getting here are slightly different of course from the previous version and as we can see here some values about voltage and temps and also powers as we can see here the voltage is still crazy high which in my opinion is of course not recommended so yeah you have to go through the bios and then offset those voltages you can check my video on how to do that we'll leave the down in the description so you guys can go and check how to change those values and how to do those corrections in order to don't have these crazy high values on voltage. The temps are slightly less than what we get with the previous BIOS and also the power drains are a little bit different. So that's all for this overview of this new update on the MSI Z790 motherboard, particularly the Z790 Ace, which I suggest you guys to anyway update the BIOS because that have that security issue patch, which is really important and you should update the BIOS only for that in my opinion because because as we have seen, the microcode update doesn't solve anything. It's just small correction. It's just let's pretend it's, it's fixed, it, but actually it's not fixed. And you have to go through the BIOS and you have to go change voltages. You have to go to change a lot of settings and you have to work on it because you know that when you change those settings in BIOS, the system might be unstable and you have to test it and you have to go really through a lot of work for having your system stable. So this is not something that you have to install, set it and forget it and your system is safe. We're going to see always crazy high temps, crazy high voltages and whatever. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful and informative, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Drop a comment and let me know if you guys have installed already this new BIOS update on your MSI Z790A's motherboard and what are your thoughts about that.